get your FTA card from the stored place, for example, the desiccator, or the card that has already dried after one hour. For this case, I'm going to get a stored FTA card from a desiccator. As a matter of warning, to prevent carry over between samples, always use a dried sample before taking a punch. Place the FTA card on a cutting mat. Place the Harris micro punch over the area to be sampled. Press down firmly to cut the disc out of the card. Transfer the disc into the desired PCR tube by ejecting the disc out of the punch. One of the problems that we face during DNA analysis is contamination. Contamination usually takes place at the early stages of DNA extraction. If you don't clean the punch, punching device that you have, you are likely to carry over DNA from one sample to another. And what will be the result after amplification? You will have false results. For example, if you are using dominant markers, you have a negative sample and positive sample and you cross-contaminate the two, you are likely to get false positives in the negative sample. And that one will have effect on the interpretation of your data. Take one punch from unspotted area of the FTA card between samples and throw it away. Add 200 microliter FTA purification reagent to PCR tubes. Incubate for five minutes with moderate manual mixing. Remove the FTA reagent using a pipette. The FTA reagent has a lot of foam. Ensure that you avoid any cross-contamination between samples when using the same pipette. At this stage, the FTA disc should be white and no chlorophyll is visible. If it is still very green, repeat the steps for washing using FTA reagents. Clean the disc with 200 microliter isopropanol, the same way you did with the purification reagent. Repeat the wash with isopropanol to make two washes. In some crops, TE buffer is used instead of isopropanol. Ensure that all the liquid has been removed from the FTA disc before performing analysis. Analysis should be done within three hours of disc washing. If this is not possible, store the punch at four degrees centigrade or negative 20 degrees centigrade in a dark environment. This is the demonstration of using the FTA disc in the PCR amplification reaction. The materials required, the air dried FTA disc, molecular biology water, 
primers stored in ice. The Bionia premix. Label a tube of Bionia PCR premix. Add the air dry disc. With the Bionia premix, you only need to add the primers, the DNA from the FTA disc, and you top up with water to 20 microliters or 50 microliters, depending on the manufacturer's specifications. Add the primer according to the concentrations that you need. I'm having the reverse and forward primers for SSR markers. I place the primers back to ice. Then I top up with molecular biology water to a volume of 20 microliters. Ensure that the two are mixed well. This tube is now ready to be taken to the thermocycler. After PCR amplifications, the products will be loaded on a gel for electrophoresis. I have demonstrated the use of FTA cards. For more practical aspect, visit the Kakao's Trust protocols.